good evening everybody and welcome to the video in this short presentation or short demo i'll be demonstrating dlq uh, on the lambda consumer side so when we have a fan out model which means sns to lambda right and when a consumer fails it's very important for us to catch that error so that you could take necessary actions in this video i'll be showing you a small demo about that Let's get started. Uh, this should be a pretty straight demo. So I'm going to click on SNS and we'll say my. So we'll call it my topic and I'm going to create uh, the uh, queue. Oh, sorry. I'm going to create the topic. My bad. OK, so that looks good. Now we'll click on create topic and sure enough, I have my topic. I have a Lambda here, uh, all it does is essentially the name of the Lambda is born to die because it's going to die, right? Uh, I'm going to raise an exception and then I'm going to show you, okay? Now I'm going to create a dead letter queue. So I'm going to say, uh, okay, Lambda DLQ, we'll click on create and then, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, that's done, right? We have the queue here, right? Now what we are about to do is we're going to add a subscription. So I'm going to click on create subscription. I would click on Lambda and I'm going to copy the ARN of the Lambda here. So I'll put this one over here and then I'll click on create subscription. Now, as you know, very, strip, uh, very simple. Uh, we, we essentially publish a message and it's broadcasted to the consumers, right? So I can say and I'll type We'll click on publish message and as you expect uh, the lambda uh, you know would be invoked and essentially we would be able to see that message uh, i'll try to show you that and now i'll purposely fail the lambda or you know I'll, I'll add an exception here and then we'll try to learn to catch this exception or try to capture that using a dead letter key okay uh, here you can see i have a beautiful payload here and somewhere down the line here hello message right hi one all right, that's great. Now uh, let's simulate a scenario, right, where this is about to fail, right? So the name is born to fail, so it has to fail. So we'll say raise exception. Oh, sorry about that. All right, so we're gonna raise an exception and I'll call this as error. And I'm about to deploy this, right? Under normal circumstances, when you, you know, when the consumers are invoked, it's going to fail. Now you want to capture this, right? Which is why dead letter would help you in these scenarios, right? So I'm going to publish a message. I'm going to say hi to. Okay. We'll click on publish. Okay. So. Of course, uh, as you would expect, right, this would fail, right? That's what even I am expecting here, right? You should see uh, an exception. Uh, the Lambda is not invoked yet, so we are about to wait for a second. Because remember, I have a retry, so it's going to retry for three times, I guess. So we're going to wait uh, for that to retry. So we'll try to go to CloudWatch, try to refresh that. And here we can see the message. And here, sure enough, we see the exception, right? Now, well, that message is lost, right? So we want to get some sort of alert when your consumer failed, right? So a better way to would be to capture this message into a dead letter queue. So this one right here, right? Now the way you would set this up is using uh, configuration and uh, then you'll go to the destination. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I remember, I remember. Yeah, destination, then um, on failure, and here we are about to select SQSQ and we'll select our queue, okay? So when it failed uh, on an asynchronous invocation, I want this to go to a dead letter queue, okay? So hopefully this is clear, right? So remember, the first time we did not capture the message, right? There are no messages in the queue. Now let's publish one more message, okay? So we'll say hi3. So we'll say born to fail. We'll publish this message, right? So now my consumers are going to uh, cons try to consume the message. But as you know, 
that in the code I have a exception here, right? Uh, this is about to fail, right? So what you would see when I refresh, you should see a message in the in the dead letter queue, okay? So we'll wait for a second, and I just have to confirm a particular settings here. So I'll go to async config uh, async invocation. I'll try. So there's a retry. So I want to make this to zero so I can actually show you, right? So I'll save this configuration. Okay, and. Uh, then I will try to come to my SQS. And then again, try to publish one more message and then we should see a message here. So we'll do high four. Okay, so I did publish the message and uh, uh, pretty soon, I, I have to change one more settings here. Uh, that is, on the SNS side, just to show you, right, that it, that this does work, in fact. So I'm gonna make the number of retries as zero, this to one, this to one. So I'm reducing all the settings here, right? So the reason I'm doing it because I wanna show you that these messages will land into a dead letter, right? So now coming back to my SQS, I still do not have any messages here. I am about to wait here for a couple of seconds and I'll do one last message. And now you can see I have two messages in the dead letter queue. So if I come to here and if I do a poll here, so what you would see is your messages from your SNSs are now here in the dead letter queue. So if you wanna see this a little bit better, I'll try to dump this one here. And uh, sure enough, uh, here you can see uh, my payload, my, you know, all the event timestamp, which is my subject, my message, right? So, of course, the other messages are also gonna come uh, soon. As you can see now, I have four messages uh, in my dead letter queue, right? So, ideally, when setting consumers, when creating consumer for SNS, right, you definitely wanna set up a dead letter queues in uh, scenarios where, you know, certain item fail, you can capture these messages these messages in the DLQ will stay for a 14 day retention period, which means after 14 day, it's gonna vanish, okay? So it, it will be there for 14 days. So it will allow you to debug your application and essentially figure out why your consumer failed, right? So <clears throat> very important. Another thing that I would bring to your attention is, so that was essentially dead letter queue on the Lambda side, on the consumer side, right? You can also set up on the uh, you can also set up on um, on the SNS side. So wh when, while creating a subscription, right, while creating a Lambda subscription, there's something called redrive policy or dead letter. You can easily add here. So here you can say select enable, and then you can select your DLQ and enable it, right? Um, so I hope you have enjoyed this small demo. Uh, this is essentially about dead letter queues. I strongly recommend whenever you try to use a dead letter queue or whenever you're using async invocation for lambda function try to configure dead letter queues because this will essentially allow you to debug uh, your consumer why did that fail right uh, if needed you can also create sns alerts uh, i'll try to show you very very um, fast here so let's say whenever anything fails right so so you can pretty fast create an alert right so i'll click click here create subscription and uh, you can say email, right? Uh, you can type in the email. Um, uh, I don't want to type my real email, but otherwise, uh, I mean, it's fine, I'll type. Otherwise, you guys are gonna see. All right, so that's my email. Uh, I can create a subscription. Of course, I'll get an email. I have to confirm that, right? So now, if I go to subscription, uh, I should see my email here. Yeah, you can see pending confirmation, right? Once I confirm it from my uh, mobile phone, and I'm just about to do that in a second, I did receive an email, I'll click here. And I'm, I'm actually opening up in my app, okay? So, yep, now I'm subscribed. So now if you essentially come to your subscription again, there you go, confirmed, right? So now, anytime uh, something fails, right? Uh, you could, since you're 
publishing it to the dead letter queue right here. Uh, if needed, you could add an SMS subscription, right? So for example, you can say alert, right? So now whenever a particular message will come, whenever a consumer fails, right, it's gonna dump to the DLQ and then you will receive an email alert uh, uh, there, right? So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed. And if you have any additional questions, list your question in the comments and I'll try my best to help you out, okay? As I said, right, DLQs are very, very essential component while build, building serverless architectures, right? Because it helps you to store your failed messages for a 14 day period. And uh, it also allows you to uh, answer the question why your consumer failed and what was the input for which the consumer failed, right? Thank you so much. I hope you have enjoyed the demo. I'll see you guys in the next video.